Now, those students are too young to be vaccinated. Could be weeks before federal regulators approve vaccinations for children under the age of 12. So now, school districts are focusing on testing, especially for those younger students, to prevent widespread exposure and hopefully keep them in the classrooms. Our Jeff Todd on the story tonight in Aurora. And Jeff, even the governor has complained about the slow start for our state's testing program. Well, Jim, we're just about two months into the school year. Vaccination has been a strong push. Like here at Aurora Public Schools, almost 100% of the staff is vaccinated. A lot of students, too. But the district tells me that they want every tool available, so they have now signed up for the state's rapid testing program. We have adopted a layered approach to protecting our students and our staff. Around Aurora Public Schools, vaccinations and off-campus testing have been the focus to start this year. Soon, the 40,000 students in the district will be allowed to enroll in the state's rapid testing. Under this program, the testing will come to the schools. Making it easy for students to take a test and even get paid for doing it. We're going to encourage as many students as possible from, from kindergarten all the way up through 12th grade. Students will get a gift card each month, $25 for the first test and $10 for every weekly test after that. In the case of Aurora Public Schools, where we have families that, um, that struggle at times, this is a wonderful thing for them to be able to participate and have their child participate. Yeah. The district has seen some outbreaks, but very few have affected vaccinated teachers, and most are in elementary schools. The vast majority of those are in uh, are with the kids that can't get vaccinated. Even vaccinated students are encouraged to participate, so the district and other health officials can track any potential cases. We want as many families as as humanly possible to participate in this program. The state is approaching about 500 schools enrolled in this program, but there's one more step. The students at those schools need to enroll, and that right now is just at a fraction. The state is hoping more big districts like this one getting on board will help stop the spread of the virus. We're live in Aurora tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.